Hello guys, welcome back to Sky Hill. I'm gonna continue this run until the end and see how far I can get. So let's see, I, I have to go down so many floors. You know what, I'm gonna just concentrate on um, repairing these so I can keep going down further. So that looks beat up, Does, could that even... Okay, that helped, I forgot. So I can go further down and this one's not broken. So I could probably go up this one now. Yep, I can. Nice. I'm making progress. And in the last episode, we unlocked a bunch of the new bench. Pretty much everything but the new bed, which I haven't used. Because uh, I kind of need food. So, speaking of which, let's eat some. Cooked meat, definitely. Any fruit? Why would, that, why would I eat mutant's blood? Why is that unhealthy? And then cocktail. Things that I know I can't turn into other things, unless I get really desperate. So let's continue. I can go down here too. Nice. Okay, I don't even need to click these, I don't think. Just keep going until they're broken. I know there's one more down here on the 80, in the 80s. Actually, you know what? I could probably... No, there it is. I kind of wasted a couple hunger. I could have gone further down. Yes. Yeah, I just lost my tape. That's fine. Wait, how many did that fix? Well, it saves me one hunger, right? Or did I just open it and close it and it take two hunger? I'm not really sure. Oh man, another one. But I lost my glue. That's okay too. Let's see what we got here. Oh, got my glue back. Construction zombie. I assume it's a zombie, I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the body shots because I wasn't gonna kill him in one hit headshot anyway. Something disturbs me. I don't remember clearly what happened before the disaster, but I remember their faces. Especially my little Nikki's. She had her maths exam next month. Back then, she was so worried, so concerned. Enough. I'm driving myself crazy. For now, I just bear my miserable cross, looting ruins and hiding from the mutants, and looking for a reason to keep going. Oh my god. So there's, the tapes aren't really relevant, they're just telling the stories of the people. It's your typical stuff. But damn. Guy, it wasn't worth it. Okay. Can I increase hunger or health? That'd be great. You can't even go back on these. You can only craft this recipe in your room. Well, it doesn't say that until you try to craft. Just saying. So, bandage I could probably craft without the craft. Without the workbench. But there's nothing to really do. I don't have any health kits, so I will not do that. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where... I'm going to have to start making decisions. Doop, doop, ba doop. Especially because everything's empty. And I come across this joker. That almost did max damage. That did almost minimum damage. Three hits, I won't complain about too much. A rotten apple. Override, but we both know what it means. Ooh, a note. Let's look at the letter. The riots in the blocks populated by the Confederates continue. Yesterday, a Chinese family was stoned to death in the middle of the street. Parents and children. I saw it with my own eyes. What is happening to this world? Why would you just be leaving that right there? Why would a letter be tacked up right there? That has nothing to do with get out or this is happening right here. I know I shouldn't be so skeptical and overthink things in a game, but I don't really do that if it's 
blaringly obvious than I do. Okay, nothing to see here. Uh, VIP. Oh, I lost two hunger just doing that. I didn't even necessarily need to. Alright, let's see what kind of fried fish that definitely will work. And I still need stuff and things. Anybody in a zombie apocalypse-esque world needs stuff and things. Okay, I'm gonna eat him. Damn it, you. There we go, finally. More like a 66% chance. Only non survivor. Okay, that, I thought it was a clip. Alright, it says newspaper clip and this says photo. It was confusing. Key card with no battery. Well. Who's too hunger? Oh, I went to one I haven't been in yet. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it. This might be the end of me. Yeah, I think this works as good enough as a uh, time passer. I don't think it's a game you can really invest a lot in. But it's, it's still kind of fun. It's simple. There's no strategy involved at all, though. I'll just go with the bottom. And I'm starting to think whatever has the best percent chance hit um, is the best. In this case, maybe the damages are smaller if it's not a, a blunt strength weapon. But for this, it just seemed, whoa, that is a lot of stuff. Why did you have rice on you, sir? Ooh, water. I can make something. Okay, let's continue. Good thing that I didn't have it, because I actually do need that health kit. Uh, I can wait. Mm. Ooh, pie. Need that pie. Okay, we're back to normal. That was a little bit wasteful, but I don't care. Done, but I lost my brick. Don't care about your brick. Yay, more glue. Glue's my best. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy with a knife. That is insane. Yeah, that's how you should hit him. You should connect when you're two, one foot in front of him. You're so intimate. Click. Oh, so much stuff. I feel like I've forgotten to loot the bodies a couple times. Mm, Got a break again out of whatever, however that worked out. Extra turn, yeah. Ah, I rolled the dice. The dice rolled me back. Battery, battery. Can I? Can I do something here? I can make chemicals. I don't want to make chemicals though. I can also make a blade. How do you make a blade with a brick? I don't understand. What is the point of that? That's what I want to know. Oh, maybe... I don't know. Oh, hello. Every click of something sounds like I'm picking... Like, it sounds like I need to pick up my phone. Eaton's blood, what a waste. Oh, med pack. Medi pack? Oh, that makes sense. Medical pack. Okay, this guy's weird. He's interesting. This weak spots this huge fist. Holy crap, that hurts. Jeez. Ah, he's a boss. He's gotta be a boss. Die! <coughs> I'm gonna die. 
Great, the one time I needed it. Can I open my inventory in any way? Can I run away? Damn it. Couldn't run away. I got a lot of new perks though, so before I end this episode, let's look and see what they are. You always strike first. You never go up. You won't go down. Losing is only an option for your enemies, so you won't retreat from a fight. So retreating, you can't retreat. Bulimia. Oh, God. You've always been concerned about your weight, and now you've got bulimia. Now. It's been only 50% food for term. Be careful. Every time you eat, there is a 25% chance to take as much damage as the food would heal. What? Damn stairs, the devil's creation on the stairway. Your damage is reduced by 50%, but when you're in the safety of a room, it's up. 20. Yeah, I don't I don't like that one because you're often being attacked in the stairs. And the stairs is the way you get out. Even when things get tough, your body won't quit. For the next 10 turns, your actions are free. Oh, that's an active, so you can pick one passive, one active. Now you're prepared for the long road ahead. You have enough food for one, but only one. Totally filling meal. Is this just like a one-time use? First aid kit from your room is quite small, but it may save your life. Today. Those are boring. Anyway, this has been Sky Hill. I I might play it on a stream or something. Let me know if you're interested. Otherwise, I'm going to move on. It's a fun little game, but I think it's not quite as polished. Everything sounds like a can is opening. The sound to get into items to open containers is kind of weird. Uh, the animations are all the same no matter what body part you hit. Uh, all that kind of thing. So I'm not going to say it's terrible. It, it's, a, it's a fun little solid game, but I don't see myself spending a ton of time on it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode.